met Uri a couple years ago, and we talked about music. We had a lot of common interest in music. I found out that he wrote a piece, a string quartet for Aditi Quartet. I was asking Uri if we could look at the score and possibly play it. In the end, he decided to just write us a new piece and including himself as a featured pianist in there. The first time I heard the Sirius Quartet, um, last year, I think, at the Stone in New York City. And after that, um, I decided you know, that I we wanted to work together, so I decided to, uh, to write a piece that showcased the Sirius Quartet, and thinking also about a piece that we could play together. <laughs> Let's start to hang out. It inspires me to think about other things that I could be thinking of writing for string quartet. It's in all these different um, genres and different ensembles, there's definitely different aspects that as a composer you're constantly learning about. So, but I enjoy the sound and the, uh, the dialogue that goes on within string quartets. I love doing collaboration. We're not interested in just playing music by dead white people. We are doing quite a few this year, including uh, another one with uh, saxophonist uh, Ivo Perelman. And, and uh, Billy Martin. And Billy Martin Billy as Martin. well. And we've got a piece with Peter Stan, an amazing Bulgarian gypsy accordion player. piece is sort of in a arch form. So the first and the fifth movements are related in terms of the motives and some of the, the rhythmic energy. The second and the fourth are also related because they're, I guess, more lyric. And the third movement is the middle movement. It sort of is the, the center of the piece. It features a lot of rhythms against each other that set up the groove in six. I guess all of the pieces are sort of meant as a spur for improvisation. Some of the pieces have short improvisational sections at the beginning or at the end. Um, others have sections within the piece where there's improvisation. So it sort of has a lot of structure but also some room for improvisation to sort of interact. The piano interacts with a string quartet. Ah, okay, well, you play triplet in that box. Yeah. If it's easier, oh. I take out the triplet. I mean, I'm probably not accurate enough in the five. I... I think with, with Uri Kane we found a musician who has the same kind of philosophy like us about music. It's that there is like no difference between contemporary classical music and uh, jazz improvisation. You know, there's only good and bad music. So we found someone who really thinks the same way we do. We're sort of omnivores. We're really interested in everything in that way. The classical music training that we sort of grew up with traditionally was very locked into a very wonderful but very sort of narrow definition of what music was about. I think that's part of what I like about this quartet is that we're always reaching to do something different, something new, and uh, Uri Kane fits right into that, the same sort of eclectic idea about what, what music is and you know, gets us out of this little house building.